Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist and I have a couple of playlists which are pending which are not completed. So in couple of days I will try to complete them. So one of the playlist was all about testing in JavaScript and uh, there we were covering about each and every tool about JavaScript like Cypress, Jest, Mocha, Sky, NYC uh, and how to do the testing in the Node.js, Nest.js, how to do the testing with React, Angular. So we have covered a couple of things. We have covered the unit testing. We have covered the integration testing with Express. Then we started exploring Jest. If you look at this playlist, we were covering all those different aspects and we were in the continuation to understand uh, the React testing library, how we can write the test cases for the React components. So after this, once this is done, we will understand how we can use Jest with the Express app and Nest.js app. And then we will we may look into the how to write the test cases using just for the angular app or Vue.js app that is i'm keeping as optional but if you understand just then you can use just with any different uh, type of technology either with express nest.js or react or any other technology because just is a runner test runner like mocha right and then we have a react testing library that that testing library is designed specifically to test the react components if you remember uh, like one year back we were using the mo uh, we were using engine and a lot of different tools and libraries we were using react test utils right and there was no proper standard or you can say no proper clean way to write the test cases or to do the testing of the components now we have a clear separation testing library react is there testing library react hooks is there testing library dom is there so all these different segments are helping us to test the React component. Okay, you can test the hooks, you can test your component, you can test the JSX it is rendering, you can test the behavior of the DOM by your component. Okay, so there is a DOM testing library which you can use. So, and then there is a React testing library. So we'll talk about, we have already uh, discussed a lot of things about like how to introduce the React testing library for your application and then we looked into the couple of examples like uh, how we were doing it with the engine uh, a tool provided by Airbnb then we migrated that to the react testing library because now everybody is using react testing library and this is really cool because you don't need to worry about a lot of configurations like the setting up the adapter and all that we were doing with the engine now everything is clean you can just import this and start writing your test cases with the help of Jest. Okay. So what we are going to do in this uh, couple of uh, coming up videos, we are going to understand how you can write the different set of test cases for the React components. Like, okay, you are writing hooks, how you can test hooks. You are writing a simple Axios call. You are writing a simple form. How you can mock the API call, which you are making after the form submission how you can mock the Axios HTTP call, which you are making from the use effect hook, how you can actually test your custom hook, which you are writing. And we are going to see how we can check, uh, how we can uh, test the dynamic async behavior of your component. That means like you are writing a component that is fetching the data and then it is compiling some JSX and showing it to you. So all those things are available and provided by Jest, okay? and react testing library so what we are going to do we already know like how to create a mock function and then we can uh, check so this is like a mocking you can call it as a spy also this function you can create a spy and you can check after calling a particular method this function has been called or not or this function has been called with some argument all those things you can test you can actually set the the return value like mock, mock return value once so this is going to set okay when you are mocking it it is going to return this value once and same you can do with the axios promises and all even you can actually mock the whole class so this is a user class right this is actually a module how you can mock it you can just dot mock axios in this you actually able to mock the whole axios library then now you can do axios get put post you can define when you are going to hit axios dot get what is the Re resulting value what is the promise resolved value will be right 
okay uh, you can also mock the whole es6 class like you are writing a class then you can actually mock it this is a particular class and then here you can uh, define the methods and all same we are going to use in the component testing let's jump right to the code and we will try to understand so i have two projects and i'm going to write a lot of examples here one is just talking about javascript like uh, not using typescript here and another example is using a little bit typescript so if you're writing a test in uh, typescript react then you can use this example if you're writing a simple javascript i mean es6 javascript react then you can use this example okay how we are doing it like uh, we have already discussed a lot of things here first of all i will try to show simple basic examples like uh, how the react testing library behaves so what we are going to do we will write a simple component and then we will write a test case for it okay so first of all we can just see what is already there let's say this is the login form what login form component contains it contains the email and it contains the password right and everybody knows like how to write the simple html form using react hooks and this is doing the same thing it is a simple uh, react component react functional component and this is how there are two text fields it is managing the set email and set password and whenever you're doing the handle submit it is calling this on submit method now when i'm writing the test case for this what we can do is we can use this react testing library and from there we can get these three different apis like uh, render screen and the fire event like fire event is needed whenever you wanted to type something in the text field there you need to fire a change event when you click on some button there you need to trigger the click event right so here what we are doing is we are getting the email password and button so we can use screen apis screen apis are available first of all we have to render it and then you can get everything from the screen api and here initially we are checking okay once once there is nothing initially the button is disabled right here we already have a condition on the button it will be disabled if there is no email and a password so here this test case will make sure that if email and password is not filled then this should be disabled right to be disabled now you entered something now there are two ways to enter the values right you can actually do a fire event dot change fire event dot click and your element on which you are actually firing the event with the event object so like you can also do it fire event dot change fire event dot click pass the the element and the event object otherwise you can do is user event dot type this is a utility where you can actually type the email and password now it will become enabled okay now when you are submitting the form what we are doing we have to mock the on submit right so what we are doing we, we need to check that when, whenever you have entered the username and email the when you click on to the submit button is on submit being called or not right so what we are, we are going to do we are going to create a spy on on submit method okay so what we are doing is we are writing on submit and here on the on submit what we are saying is whenever so we are already passing on submit on submit is being passed as a props if you see the component now we get the button and then we are going to click on to that button okay we are going to click on to the button fire event dot click and whenever you click on to that button this on submit will will be get called right so we can check expect on submit to have been called times or to have been called with i mean there is no value we are passing now currently like this is a submit button right because you haven't typed username password so submit button will be disabled so even if you do a click there is no actual click is happening that's why this to have been called times is saying zero but now let's say we render it and through the screen api we get the email password and button and we type some values and then we are doing user event dot click so you can also do it in the different ways like you can get the user event or you can actually do the fire event uh, i i i am also got confused like which way to go there is a user event dot type user event dot click or you can use fire event dot change fire event dot click so user event is a separate library testing library forward slash user event you have to import it and then you can use user event 
user event dot click user event dot type so here i'm clicking onto the button after filling the values in the email and password and it will get called once right so this is just a smart way of writing the test case and i, I here through these test cases i have validated that whenever my form is empty then it is not going to execute i mean it is not going to enable the button but when my I, I, I'm writing email and password then I will click on to the button and on submit will get called right then what we can do is npm run test and it will execute the test cases because there is a login form dot test dot js we have written and it will execute it either you can write dot stack dot js or dot test dot js okay now what we did here is there is a component we have created and we have written the test cases right there are three test cases we have written and we are using screen api after rendering the component we can also access the container and then we can use get element by text get element by label get element by placeholder get element by test id all these different methods are exposed through react testing library so i mean you if you wanted to capture the email where the placeholder is this or uh, the label is this there are different ways to uh, get a particular uh text field so here what we are doing is get by label text if you can see here we are using label inside this label we have email so inside this whatever the input text field it will become password here inside this label there is a username right so we are able to get the input email we are similarly input password and then using user event we are able to type in those fields here we typed so button become enabled so these are like a react testing apis which are enabling like to be enabled to be disabled screen apis user event apis and render apis render to render the component like we used to do the shallow and mount in the engine similarly we are using render apis to render the component and now using screen apis we can inspect the things from the component okay similarly we will write we will start writing the very basic component from like simple hello world and then from there we will we'll talk about the testing of the hooks mocking and api calls and all 